So I'm standing here with one of the most craziest, <laughs> craziest <laughs> guy on the tubes. Um, his name is Matt. Does fitness. It's actually Matt Morcia. So a funny, funny story, right? So up on the board there, right? It's got like a list of who's at the event. And it's got me down as Matt Morse, like my actual name, and everyone's like, who the hell is Matt Morse? Exactly. Everyone, everyone assumes my name is like Matt does fitness, but that is not the But case. he doesn't even look like he's doing fitness. That is very offensive. Yeah. I cannot believe you just said that. I'm leaving. <laughs> okay. <laughs> is everyone ready? No, I mean, you know I'm a forearm kind of girl. Can, me sh can you show me your forearms? My forearms? How do you even show forearms? I've got a pretty four, decent forearm. Three, two, forearm action going on there. I've, I've, I've not trained forearms my entire life. I feel like, I feel if you, like I, if you have a good deadlift, your forearms are going to be strong, right? You know, you can't yeah. deadlift a lot of weight unless you have strong forearms. Definitely. Yeah. True. So, um, if there's anything you would like to advise to the viewers um, about what kind of tip, what kind of life tip could you give to viewers? Let's get a little bit silly. A life tip? Give me yeah. like, that's a broad question. How are we doing on time? Give me, give me something more specific. Come on, an area of life that um, I'm going to advise on. About uh, personal development. Okay, personal development. Okay, so I'm going to say that you should, uh, you should try and do things that you find fulfilling. Right? I think a lot of people find themselves doing like, not necessarily a job, but doing something that, 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 that is okay and it's like they're in their comfort zone and they, and they, and they kind of keep doing it because it's like it's easy, you know? it's easier seconds. to do that than to go and find something that you 22. really like doing, but I think uh, people are Four, people are kind of three, led to believe two, that, that that's how they should be, you know, that there's, that's as good as it's going to get, but I think yeah, that if you, if you, there will be something that you are really passionate about, something that you really love, yeah. that you really enjoy doing that may seem like unrealistic but I guess maybe try and find a way to make it into your something awesome. you could do like you know okay, so how in a more sustainable way like this makes sense. What I'm, what I'm basically saying is that I'm Good. I used to be a PE teacher right and like I started doing YouTube and like 24? initially I Good. never thought okay. in a million years we it would be a career a but like I kept I persevering and I kept making good content and eventually like it that, that's what it is it's my job now so 22. yeah I, I never 22. thought it would be but what I'm saying is that I think that they okay. don't have just wipe here. things off and so just accept what you're doing now try and be ambitious and do the things that you love doing and then the maybe one day that'll become your job you know you unless what you love doing is like committing murder then just stop doing that straight away and i hope you got all that with all the noise in the background <laughs> Otherwise, I will put subtitles in the video. But um, I totally agree. Follow your dreams, even though it's scary. Get out of that comfort zone and do what you love. Love what you do. Woo! <laughs> Good morning, dearies. <laughs> it's Saturday, the 16th of March, and today is the day that the Gymshark event is going to take place in Amsterdam. Yay! Of course, I feel very excited, but I'm suffering a little bit from a cold and I didn't sleep long enough, so I'm not really awake yet. But I do feel excited, even though you don't see it. Um, I will start the day by making some coffee. Um, I'm new to this whole coffee thing, by the way. I only drink coffee since half a year or so. And I only drink it black with my Now Foods Better Stevia and a little bit of my Now Foods Better Stevia flavor enhancers. Is that how you say it? Yeah, flavor enhancers. Um, I always got the vanilla and the dark chocolate and they're so yummy. So let's make some coffee, have a shower and I will show you my outfit for today, which is totally cute. I wanted to be at the venue super early, but knowing the fact that i haven't been vlogging for a while i kind of forgot about how long it takes to record content so i'm just going to take a train later <laughs> because miss time management over here won't be able to make the train in 20 minutes so this is going to be my outfit for the day i've got my new gymshark leggings i've got my new gymshark top my new bra and I've got this super cute, comfy and nice vest. So happy with that one. And I've got the gym bag. Awesome. I finally made it to Amsterdam Central. I'm super excited. My hair looks like a mess. I look like some kind of little chicken or something. 
and I'm super excited to meet uh, Robin Gallen and Hannah Oberg, um, the rest of the athletes. Um, yeah, um, I don't really know them. <laughs> Sorry. But uh, yeah, Steve Cook or Nikki Blackader or Karina L would have been nice, but unfortunately they're not there. Nevertheless, I'm super excited and I'm looking forward to, uh, to be at the venue. I saw on the Instagram story of Hannah that it looked so amazing. It looked really, really gorgeous. So um, the bus is here. <laughs> Let's get on the bus before it's too late and uh, see how busy it will be. So the next stop is my stuff and I must say it brings back a little bit of memories when I met Emily Hayden during the Elf League meet um, a couple of years ago when I still was with Jay. Um, if you haven't seen my vlog about that, check it out on my YouTube channel or Facebook. Uh, it was super awesome to meet Emily. She was so sweet and so humble and so kind. Um, I guess we're almost there and I suck at direction so... I'm just going to have a look where everybody else is going and then I'm just going to follow them. <laughs> not too bad, not too bad. It's going pretty fast right now. It looks so beautiful, oh my gosh. Let me show you. I'm inside, I'm inside and it looks so amazing. It's so big! That's what she said. Um, I'm going to have a seat somewhere and then I'm going to have my coffee and um, yeah, check out uh, who else is here. Quite busy, I must say. I did my first mask up two months ago. And the progress is so great and it's so much fun getting in bed and turning into the sun every day. Oh my goodness, I just came inside the venue and look who I met. It's uh, Mr. Gymshark himself, it's the big boss, the guy who is putting in all the work from yeah, such a young age. And he said that he's still young, but he doesn't feel very young. I don't feel young. It's been such a busy few years, but yeah, it's so cool to be here. Really, really happy. Gorgeous venue. Everyone here is really friendly. Yeah. yeah loving it. Awesome. The venue is so beautiful. And did you know that usually there are techno parties here? I, I heard that. I was told that this morning. Apparently it's pretty, it gets pretty crazy here, but yeah, yeah it's, um, it's amazing. It's the first time we've had a round of like a cylindrical event. I know it sounds crazy, but being able to just separate each section is really cool. Yeah. So yeah, loving it. Cool. What would you like to say to the people who are in doubt of pursuing their dreams? What would you advise them? I would say, right, I think what I always think to myself is like, we start at square one, and if we do really well and then we end up back at square one, then we haven't lost anything, right? We've had an amazing journey, it's been really good fun. So I would always like, push people to follow their dreams and whatever that is, right? I mean, in this day and age, more than ever, whether you're, dream whether you're passionate about fitness or, I don't know, building or trains, whatever your, your passion is, just follow it because, you know, you can't really lose, I feel like. So, yeah, I would always uh, push people to follow their dreams. You hear that, guys? Follow your dreams. I know it's scary, but follow your dreams. Uh, where is Robin, by the way? She's on the way now. She's literally on the way now. So she was at the hotel. She's doing the afternoon uh, yep. a lot, so they swap over. She'll be here in half an hour or so. Oh, uh, cool, because his girlfriend is actually the reason that I'm going to explant as well. Yeah. I'm explanting in 11 days. Oh my god, really? Yeah, it's She's super completely scary. completely changed since that. Yeah? Changed. Yeah, it's been a, like a genuine life changer for her. Really? Yeah. Yeah, even though I'm very scared, I know this is the best decision. So, um, <laughs> no more big boobs for me. So, um, thank you so much. Shall we take a photo? Absolutely, let's do it. We're going to take a photo. See you later. Bye. Okay, I really would like to get a photo with Hannah. But the queue is like enormous and you know how I'm always about food. <laughs> Look at these goodies. These look so good and I usually don't even like coconut stuff. 
but um, I tried a couple and they're not really coconutty so um, I guess I will just have some and then um, queue up for Hannah ah. she's totally worth it though <laughs> I must say I'm getting a little bit emotional right now because Robin is the reason for my explant surgery, you know? So it's going to be really weird to be talking to her about it. But uh, yeah, only 10 more days. It's got to be similar. You can't go from squat to like machine hands up. You've got to do something similar. So you can do a squat, a front squat, and a core squat. Okay? So in week one, you do five sets of five on your back squat. It's my turn! Hi! Hi! <laughs> <laughs> oh, leuk to meet you. I'm in the vlog in the 
angled. Oh, okay, hey guys. <laughs> this is beautiful. How do you pronounce your name? Uh, you pronounce my name as Nosli. I know it's very hard, it's Mexican. Um, yeah, but that's it, Nosli. Nosli, and Nosli. everybody say Noctli. Yeah, I know. People always make the weirdest stuff of it. Nochli, Nochli, blah, blah, blah. Nosli. Nosli it is. Well, yeah. thank you for your time. Yeah, thank you so uh, much. How are you holding up? Uh, I'm doing great actually. We already had like three hours meet and greet with like an hour in between of rest and now again three hours meet and greet. So I'm tired but it gives me like a lot of energy to see all these people with you. It's just really hard work. So, uh, yeah. You are awesome. Thank you. Uh, Shall we take a photo? Yes, obviously. Yes, obviously. Yeah, yeah, obviously. Okay, cool. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. I was stressing just now because my phone died on me. So all my photos with Noshli they were gone. Fortunately, I could snap another one. And now I'm still in the in the queue for Robin. Okay, guys, this is the moment. Um, yeah, I don't want to cry, but um, you're the reason I'm explanting too. In ten days. Yeah. So um, thank you so much that you've been so open because it was you, I saw it with you and then I was like, yeah, something's got to change and I, I don't have all the symptoms like you had. Yeah. So I spoke to Ben yeah. and he said you got a totally different person. Yeah, I'm a totally different person after. It's completely changed everything. It was the best decision I ever made and it literally means so much to me to think that someone would have seen me do it on social media and realized that that might be affecting them too and that they would choose to explain as well. Thank you so much, you literally made my day. No, thank you. <laughs> uh, but uh, how about recovery? Because I'm, I'm really looking uh, up against the recovery. Yeah, so did you say it's in 10 days? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so for recovery, it's definitely so much better than... Um, I found it was, it was a little bit better in terms of, of like mentally after, but... Um, it, it's a little bit more sore on your chest so you have to take it easy but you'll feel like you have so much energy so it's hard to like force yourself to chill out and like rest so my advice is just to like rest as much as possible for the first two weeks rest. get your boyfriend or your whoever your mom to help yep. you with your housework don't yep. do it yourself and yeah but i wish you so like the, the best and thank you so much oh, thank so you much love. Uh, Thank you so much for your openness. I really, really appreciate it. Shall we take a photo? Yeah, let's get a picture. It's smiling with these braces, you know? Oh, oh. I didn't even notice. I think you've got a beautiful smile. <laughs> Thank you so much. Well, you take care. Yeah, you too. Thank you so much. I just wanted to ask how long have you had your implants for? Uh, I'm 39 now. Yeah. And I oh have since You literally look 20. Like I wish I was 20, but I'm really 39 <laughs> years old. Uh, I had them since my 18. Okay. Uh, it's more so than 20 like years. Yeah. Yeah, super long. And the thing is, like, when you've had it for so long, you don't even notice the symptoms, like, coming exactly. in. Like, for me, it was a bit of a shorter period of time, but I feel like when you have it for so long, it's like... And I'm always in pain, and I'm so used to be in pain yeah. all the time. Yeah, that's how I felt, too. Yeah. You're going to feel so much better. I really I'm hope so. so. excited for you. Thank you so much. You need to tag me on Instagram. So I can follow. I will. I will. Okay, <laughs> Okay, that got quite intense when I spoke to Robin about our explant surgeries. Um, it's only 10 days for me now and I'm super nervous, but it was so good to talk to her about and she said that I will feel so much better afterwards. And I'm looking so much forward to be pain-free, you know, and of course it looks nice and close and whatnot but I just want to be healthy and pain-free so I'm going to grab my stuff right now I got what I came here for Robin was super nice it was so good to talk to her but now I'm so tired I need to eat something I need to drink take it easy maybe catch a movie and then I'm going to go home it has been quite an intense day but I'm really happy that I came oh my gosh I finally made it into the clothing department. Oh my gosh, the queue was so long to get here. Um, I will just have a look. I don't really need something, but yeah, like with Gymshark, there's always something that I want to buy. <laughs> so um, let's see what's left and um, if I will buy something. I'm not a big fan of uh, crop tops and crop thingies, but I think this one is cute. 
but I wouldn't buy it for myself. This is nice. These are the special event shirts. Guess I will grab one of those. That was so funny, I was looking at those shirts, but apparently those are for guys. <laughs> so um, I believe the girl stuff is over here. Um, I want to have such a Lift the City shirt. Good luck with that, buddy. very tired and we had to wait for a long time but you know just like in traffic that's just the way it is I mean you cannot change anything about it and when you are there talking to that athlete you also want to take your time to talk to them snap a photo so yeah in the end it was all worth it and if it would have been Max Tuning standing over there I would have waited in line for six freaking hours trust me yeah, Gymshark really is my most favorite brand simply because it fits me so well. You know, it's not that expensive when you compare it to Adidas or Nike and it just fits well. They have so many amazing, beautiful clothes and every time I'm serving their website, I'm like, oh, I want that and I want to keep on buying. But sometimes I just have to tell myself, no. It's enough, you don't really need stuff, so stop buying, stop filling up your basket because you're going to delete it anyway. <laughs> yeah, um, big up to the Gymshark team, it was super nice to meet you. Um, I really had a blast today and I'm really happy that I'm living in the Netherlands and relatively close by Amsterdam. So it was um, yeah, very fortunate for me that I could attend this event and I'm really, really happy that I came. I'm really tired, I'm going to grab something to eat and then we're going to bed early tonight and get a workout in tomorrow. Totally motivated. Thank you all for watching, I hope you liked it. If you liked it, Give this vlog a thumbs up, leave a comment down below if you've been here as well.